In this video we're going to look at the interior and exterior angles in polygons and uh, with particular sort of focus on regular polygons. Now a polygon is just a multi-sided shape so examples would be hexagon, pentagon, square, triangle and so on. Now an exterior angle if we just uh, grab a, a shape we'll draw one of these and we'll get some idea of what an interior and an exterior angle is. Say this was regular, just pretend it's regular. So by regular, we mean that all of the sides are the same and all of the angles are the same. The exterior angle is going to be measured just here. Okay, So it's on a straight line from there to there. The interior angle is going to be measured on the inside. So if we call this one x and this one y, then x plus y is going to equal 180 degrees. And that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It's a straight line, so they're going to add up to 180. Now, to find the number um, of these, if you just count them up, we can use that number to work out the size of each exterior angle by simply doing 360 divided by the number of sides. Now, what I've done, I've made up a little uh, thing here, and we'll look at it. So this is a, a regular uh, triangle, three-sided shape, uh, it's an equilateral triangle, so the exterior angle is going to be 360 divided by n, the number of sides. Number of sides is 3, 360 divided by 3 means that each exterior angle is 120. Now if we increase that one and we increase it by 1, we've got a square. Exterior is 90 and that kind of makes sense because 360 divided by uh, 4 is going to give us 90. If we then get five-sided shape, so if we now get a pentagon, we've got exterior of 72. And all that is, is 360 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we go to 6 with hexagon, and you keep going, and so on and so forth. So hexagon, 60 degrees, 360 divided by 6. You go 7, go 8, go 9, and you can keep going. Uh, if you want to go way up there, you can go out to 18-sided shapes. And the exterior angle is simply 360 divided by the number of sides. So that's the exterior angle. If we want the interior angle, then we can look at it two different ways. And I'll, I'll draw another one of these up. We'll get a different shape now. If we've got, say, we've got a regular, um, a regular hexagon, let's just draw a, an exterior angle on it. We found out earlier that the exterior angles of uh, the regular hexagon were going to be 60 degrees. So this angle down to here is 60 degrees, as it's 360 divided by 6. This one here has got to make up 180 with this one. So this one here is just 180 minus the external angle, which of course is going to give us 120 degrees. So we can say that each interior angle is 120 degrees. This one's going to be 120, this one is, this one is, this one is, and that one. So interior angles, we can look at it as the exterior subtracted away from 180. So again, 90 plus 90. It's going to give us 180 on a straight line. 108 plus 72 is 180. 120 and 60. 128 is not a nice one to look at. 135 and 45, they're all equal in together. 180 degrees. So if we think about it, that one plus that one. So if we know that's 45, then that's going to be 135. Now, there is another way of doing it. And you may be asked to do the following. So let's just get another shape. The sum of the interior angles. That means that you're adding them up. Now on this one, we worked it out. They were the interior ones would be 108. So you could add them all up. If you added five lots of 108, so each angle, interior angle, is 108. If you add five lots of those up, you get 540 degrees. Another way of looking at this, the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon, n minus 2 times by 180. Now, it'll work 
I work for all polygons, but in, in terms of actually getting them to all be the same, if we got a regular one, it's going to work um, out better for us because we can tell the value of each one. What I'm going to do is pick a point on here, and from that point, I'm just going to draw lines out, and I'm going to draw these lines out. These are the number of triangles I can make. Let's just scrub that off here a second. Let's get rid of that. Right. What I've done, I've picked a point in the shape. And if I think about it now, I've made one triangle from that point down the bottom. I've made another triangle. And I've made another triangle. We can see that we've got three triangles in here. All triangles, the interior angles are 180, they sum to 180. So 180 plus 180 plus 180 gives us 540. If we use this formula, n minus 2, well the number of sides, there's 5 sides, 5 minus 2 times 180 is 3 times 180, which is 540. So we can see how this works. This n minus 2 is essentially how many triangles we can get in. And we can always get 3 um, in this one, get 3 in. So it's 2 less than we ever have. So again, we can apply that to any shape. Um, let's just do it with this one now. So all I've done is picked a point. So let's pick a point on here. And I'm going to... There's one triangle. Well, pretend it is. It's nearly a triangle. There's another one. And there's another one. So now, what we've got is four triangles and six sides. So 180, 180, all in measured in degrees, 180, 180. So the sum of the interior angles is going to be 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180, which is 720, or n minus 2 times by 180. Now, if we think we've got six sides, n being the number of sides, 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 times 180 is equal to 720. So the sum, when we say sum, it's adding the interior angles, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon at n minus 2 times 180. So let's recap on what we've um, done here. Exterior angle, so exterior, 360 divided by the number of sides, and they will all be the same if it's regular. Interior, you can simply um, subtract, so remember, subtract exterior from 180. Again, assuming it's uh, regular, take away the, the exterior angle from 180. So say, for example, this one is uh, 35, then we're now going to be left with 145. Okay? Sum of interior angles. So what they all add up to in the middle, you can either go around and collect them up. Again, if it's regular, just add however many you have. Or you can do the number of sides minus 2 times by 180. So that's the crux of it, and hopefully that's been of some use to you.